Hi guys, it's Monica and Jay. and Jay and I am actually going to do a tag video that I saw on Little Poets channel Susan and she had mentioned in the comments that I really should do this and so she saw it on Bella Beauty with a Budget and I really called Bella my English diva because if you don't know Bella she's just an awesome lady I'm gonna link Bella's video and I'm gonna link Susan's video and I enlisted my poor husband who hasn't read these questions I did a once over glance and I thought, oh my gosh, am I really going to be able to answer these honestly? So, Especially with me here. <laughs> with Jay here. So talk about invading my privacy and what else does it say up there for a title? That's what it says. Invading, invading my, my privacy. privacy and that's it? Yeah. So I guess, um, yeah, let's get down and personal, let's get down and dirty, let's invade my privacy and let's see how honest I can answer these questions with my... Did you wake up cranky? I did not wake up cranky. I very rarely wake up cranky, I don't think. No, that's true. Um, I usually, I'm usually pretty even personality in the morning. I just want my coffee, but no, I don't wake up cranky. All right. This is a good one. Would you date a man 25 years younger than you? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Um, well, here, here's the, here's the scoop. My, my son is 20 years younger than me. So to me, to me to date someone that's 25 years younger than me, it would be like my son. I, I just really wouldn't have it. I would not be able, whether he's standing here or not, I would never date a guy 20. I mean, it would have to be like, you know, some hunk and hunk and rich, well, whatever. <laughs> All right. Would you ever smile at a stranger? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. I yeah. smile a lot. Strangers. Um, yeah, I smile a lot. And can you commit to one person? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. I am actually a very, very loyal person. I'm, um, I'm a loyal friend. Uh, I think I'm, a, I'm, I'm extreme. Don't you think? I'm oh, very, very loyal. Yeah, Once yeah. I make a commitment, I make a commitment, whether it's to this guy, through thick and thin, through richer, through poorer, through health and through sickness, we, I've committed. And, um, yeah, unless he, um... Uh, Alright, how often do you listen to music? In my mind, almost every day. I love listening to music. I, uh, lately have not been listening in the car as much because I've been doing podcasts and audiobooks. But when I'm home alone, I play the music on my, on the TV. Yeah. I'll dance around the house, the house a lot. Um, I sometimes at the office have my little earbuds in and I have music playing. Cool. And are you a social or antisocial person? This is a hard one. Hard one for me to answer because I think I'm more of a social person, but I'm right down the middle because I'm also very reserved and quiet. But I'm definitely more social. Yeah. Definitely more. If your husband or partner said they loved someone else, what would you say? <laughs> I forgot about that question. <laughs> well, I used to say to Jay, if I ever caught him, you know what, that I would chop off the family jewels. Mm -hmm. And I used to threaten him with that. But if he literally said to me he loved someone else, right? Mm -hmm. I would I would contain myself really, really hard. I would contain myself. And I would probably say, there's the door. Don't let it hit you in the butt on the way out. And then I would throw his clothes out, burn his clothes, ruin his golf clubs. You knew golf clubs. I'd break them. I'd be, what is, what right, is the Tiger right, Woods right. wife that yeah, smashed yeah. it? Yeah. I would be like, Elon? Elon, Elon. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Then I would wish him luck. So are you good at hiding your feelings? Um... I think if you don't know me, I'm very good at hiding my feelings. I think if you know me really well, you can see probably my feelings in my eyes. Yeah, I Would see. you agree uh, with that? Okay. Because you can usually tell when I'm mad. Oh, yeah. All the time. <laughs> I'm mad all the time. No, I know. Hey, can you drive a stick shift? I can. I can drive a stick shift. I actually mm -hmm. had driven a stick shift for the longest time, so I'm sure I can get right by behind the wheel in a stick shift and Yeah, because I had cars that take stick off. shift. You drove them. That's right. So I, I actually probably drove them pretty damn good, I think, for a woman. Oh, right. that's a sexist mind. Oh, look at that. Huh? <laughs> What's something people would be surprised to learn about you? Oh, um, I have to say it would probably be that I'm as shy as I am in real life. Um, I think 
the persona that you see on video it's a safe distance in a way in real life i'm the person we do not agree that if yeah. we go to a party um, i tend to hold back i tend to observe before i jump in and so yeah so i struggle with my shyness every day i, sh I struggle with it in teaching i struggle with it in work um, i do struggle with it so that's probably the thing yeah. people would be surprised about yeah when was the last time you cried um Yesterday, actually. Yeah? Yes. I cried when I watched Harry oh. and Meghan. <laughs> yeah, I cried. And the time before that, I cried the I cried at night one night when I was going to sleep, when I was thinking about my dad's health. Yeah. I cry a lot, actually. Have you ever liked someone you didn't expect to? Um, gosh, I think so. I, I think so. Um, you know, I, so I'm going to be gentle about this. I did not expect ever to like this person. I had heard all sorts of things about this person. I had heard things about his family, his father. I did not expect to like this person in reality because I figured he would be full of himself. He would be arrogant. He would be a number of things. Um, do you know who I'm talking about? Me. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up marrying him. So... I never expected to like you as much, but I, somehow, somehow when we locked eyes across that broker open house and I was on the balcony and you were on the floor and we locked eyes, I don't know what it was. I don't want to say it was love at first sight, but it was definitely a strong, strong connection and it shocked me because I didn't like him before that. Even though I didn't know him, I just didn't like his reputation. Back I didn't know I had a reputation. <laughs> What is the biggest life lesson from being on YouTube? There's been many. There's been many. Um, I think the biggest life lessons is that people that you you think you know you really don't know. Um, it, it's an eye-opening thing for me when you know I've liked people or engaged with people, and all of a sudden I find out that they're cheating. So. The cheaters, I think, has opened my eyes that someone would actually pay money to gain subscribers and, and pay money to gain views and pay money to really basically have a channel. And to me, that's up to them. That's fine. But that, if that was an eye opening. That was a life lesson when I started to see that happen and started to know people that, that were doing it. It also, you know, made me lose total respect because just like in our industry you know we have realtors that we don't want to work with we don't want to co-broke with because of their reputation or things that they've done shortcuts so in youtube i've lost respect for some people and i don't want to engage with people or hang around with people that i don't respect be it in real life or be it on tube life how's that so what defines success what defines success you know almost every day I think success is defined in the type of day you lead. And so I wake up, I'm usually in a decent mood. I have my coffee. Sometimes he ruins my mood, but I overcome it and that's successful. <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> Not all, but, but sometimes. Very rarely. But you know, what defines- Hardly ever. <laughs> never, <laughs> Almost no. Almost never. <laughs> no, no. What defines success um, is, is to me, it's very simple. Being, keeping a smile on my face, being happy and just appreciating every single day that I have with my family, my mom and my dad, both of them are 90, and my sister, my brother, my husband, my children, my stepchildren. Every day that I'm here, that defines success. Because when I was a kid, you know, I could have gone the completely opposite way. Yeah, really. yeah. You know, the, the roaring, you know, yeah. hippie days and drug culture and, you know, all yeah. that wonderful stuff. I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Really? That's it. So did any of these answers surprise you? No, not really. Not really? Do you think I told the truth on all of them? Um, yeah, I think you're a truthful person, so yeah, I would say yes. <laughs> there was a little bit of a hesitation there. <laughs> that was that just drama for the camera? Mm -hmm. That was just drama for the camera. So anyways, that's my, um, whatever it's called. Invade my privacy. Tag questions. So I, I actually, I'm kind of like glad I did it and I'm kind of glad I put you on the spot. So yeah. Put me on the spot. You're the one that's on the spot. <laughs> well, we're both on the spot. We're in the camera. We're in the camera. <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye guys. Bye bye. Bye.